the next problem in the fillet welded connection here we will see the problem on the plates design a suitable longitudinal fillet weld to connect a two plates of 160 by 12 mm and 100 by 12 mm to transmit a pull equal to the smaller plate assume to use shop weld here they ask you to provide weld only on the sides that's why they mentioned as a provide suitable longitudinal fillet weld they ask you to join two plates of different size 160 by 12 mm 100 by 12 mm they did not given the the strength of the joint for what force we have to design this connection so they indirectly given that that strength or uh, tensile force or pull equal to strength of the smaller plate we can imagine that if you are connecting the two plates of different sizes if you apply a pull which plate will fail first smaller obviously it will be the smaller plate so if the force is not given means ask to design the join means you can consider the strength of the smaller plate here the uh, figure is not given therefore based on the given data you have to draw the figure first i have drawn the larger plate for a width of 160 mm then smaller plate for a width of 100 mm it is overlap each other the overlapping length i don't know in at the initial after designing the joint i am able to provide that value first you will cal calculate the tensile strength of the plate tdg equal to ag into fy by gamma m not this expression can be obtained from class 6.2 page 32 let me go to that page page 32 page 32 this is page number 26 see see here design strength due to yielding of the cross section tdg equal to ag into fy by gamma m naught where gamma m naught is the partial safety factor for failure in tension by yielding so once we know the formula we will substitute the values one by one where fy is the yield strength of the material so here we are using the fe 410 grade plates because indian made all structural steel are made up of fe 410 grade steel for that yield strength is 250 ag is the gross area of the smaller plate very important we have to consider only the smaller plate size is 100 by 12 so i will substitute that ag value then fy and gamma m naught gamma m naught value can be obtained from table 5 page number 30 okay that value is 1.1 so the tdg value is 272.72 kilo newton so now we have arrived that load that for, for which we have to design the join next we have to find the strength of the will, fillet weld for 1 mm length we have a expression to calculate the design strength of the fillet weld that is fu by root 3 into 1 by gamma mw into aw that aw is missing in that code to get this expression we have to refer the class 10.5.7.1.1 .1 page number 79 let me go to that page in is 800 page number 79 page number 79 see fwd is given as fwn by gamma mw where fwn is fu by root 3 i will make it as a this as a single equation fwd equal to fu by root 3 into 1 by gamma mw into area of the weld area of the weld can be obtained by multiplying length and throat thickness effective length and throat thickness here i am going to calculate the fillet weld strength for 1 mm length therefore uh, length of the weld is 1 mm next one is throat thickness how we can get the throat thickness tw we know that throat thickness tw is equal to k into s where k equal constant that depends upon the angle between the fuse and faces 
for fillet weld the angle is always 90 degree therefore k is equal to 0 0.7 where s is the size of the weld how we can get the size of the weld we have to assume suitably for minimum size of the weld they have given the condition as 5 mm for 12 mm thick plate for that we have to refer the table 21 let me open that table 21 in IS 800 this is table 22 this is used to find the value of k from this only I have got the value of k equal to 0 0.7 see the table 21 it will provide the minimum size of the first run or of a single run fillet weld up to and including 10 mm they are given that weld size as minimum weld size as 3 mm for our case the size of the weld is 12 mm so therefore the minimum size of the weld is 5 mm so now I got the value for the minimum size of the weld as 5 mm. Next maximum size of the weld for that we have to refer the figure 17A in page number 80 depending upon the edge of the plate the value will be varied. Let me open that page let me see the figure 17A 17A see they have uh, provided two plates lapped one over other the maximum size is obtained by size of the plate minus 1.5 mm if the plate is having a square edge our case it is having square edge only therefore maximum size of the weld equal to 12 minus 1.5 10.5 mm so we got the lower limit as well as the upper limit we have to assume yeah, any size of the weld in between this minimum and the maximum value. So let me assume the size of the weld S equal to 10 mm therefore throat thickness T equal to K into S 0 0.7 into 10 we got the value of 7. Next I will calculate that strength of the fillet weld for 1 mm length. So first FU by root 3 FU that Indian made all structural shield sections are uh, made from the Fe 410 grade steel. So, Fe is 410 root 3 you can directly put root 3 in calculator we can easily type it then gamma mw gamma mw value is partial safety factor for weld here the, the welding is done at shop therefore gamma mw value is 1.25 this value can be obtained from page number 5 table 30 then length of the weld is 1 then throat thickness is 7 by multiplying all this value I can get the strength of the fillet weld for 1 mm length as 1325.635 kil Newton. Next effective length of the weld required equal to effective length of the weld required how we can get it strength of the joint strength of the joint already we calculated in the first step that value is 272.72 kn by multiplying 10 power 3 I am converting that value into Newton divided by strength of the weld for 1 mm length 1325.59 Newton per mm. So you can get that effective length of the weld record is 205.73 mm ok. Then we, we need to provide the welds on two longitudinal sides. So I will calculate the effective length of the weld record for one side this is for the total of two sides so therefore 205.73 by 2 102.865 mm so this is the effective length required for one side is 102.865 mm in addition to that above the edges i have to provide a end returns end returns so actual length of the weld required for one side is both sides i have to add two times the size of the weld plus effective length here the size of the weld is 10 mm 2 times 2 s yes. so 102.86 plus 4 into 10 I got the value as 142.86 mm let me say that as a 145 mm so we are providing the providing 10 mm fillet weld for a length of 145 mm on either side of the plate after worked out this value only 
we can complete this diagram that overlap length is 145 mm I have provided the wealth uh, one side I have provided as 145 mm other side also 140.